Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines. In the previous episode, we finally took care of Triggered Heights and we started to develop a little bit more. It was looking very bland for the longest amount of time and today I want to add even more details to it. I received a link to some assets called Modular Medieval Walls and I kind of would like to create the illusion that this place once has been a little village surrounded by walls and it also had a castle. Now the castle is not gonna look like a ruin, it's actually a nice looking castle, but I can definitely stand behind that, I think it's gonna look awesome. The city at the moment isn't running as smoothly as it was before, we are, well, we are still making lots of money, but we did lose approximately 1000 people to public transport and did I just see a train disappear here? No. But the way we connected the districts now together, a lot more people are choosing to take the cars, obviously. And that is not necessarily a bad thing, we just have to keep in mind that if we hit the limit of the vehicle count, we are going to see something crazy going on with the city. Usually everything breaks down if you hit that limit. So we just want to keep that in mind as well. Anyways, before we do any of that, <laughs> some, a very good hint you left me in the comment section, uh, we needed to place the last remaining buildings. Now there's the School of Economics, for instance. Increase revenue without upsetting the city's populace. <laughs> Bad news is this building is very large. Fortunately, it is one of the last large buildings that we need to place down. So if I can in any way, I'm also willing to sacrifice some of the stuff we already sewned. You know what, maybe right here, this is not a bad location. Let me actually see, we might have to do some terraforming. So I think for now I'm just gonna get rid of these houses, I'm sorry, you have to move out again. We're also gonna move the firewatch tower to over here, and then I need to move the road especially. So something like that, are you going to... Look at all the people, they had to move out, I'm so sorry. <laughs> not really though. Yeah, that's gotta work. I mean, the slope is still too steep, but in a fixable manner, I think. So we're just gonna try to unsteepen it. Come on, boy, do me the favor. Ah, such a pity. Let me try to flatten that out a little bit. It's gonna look weird initially, probably, but that is supposed to work now. Yes, ta-da! I knew we could do it. The surrounding roads and areas I'm gonna once again fill up with residential. Next up we have the School of Environmental Studies and oh no, I thought we had it with the large buildings. Okay, I guess we can try to place it in this area. So we'll have to do the same spiel with the terrain tool. Oh nice, looks like we don't even have to do a lot of trickery, though that did something weird with the terrain. Yeah, <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to place down some rocks, but then there are other things, I mean look at that, that is just crazy. And it doesn't look like there is really a way to fix it, except... No, no, there's no way to fix that. Yeah, I guess some parking spots will just not be able to save. Let's at least try to make this one look good. So uh, I'm actually focusing here on the staircase. I kind of like to take that as a guideline. Okay, now we got that all placed down. What the heck is this? The Media Lab. I don't think I have that either. Ah, this is so great to be able to finally finish that campus. I totally forgot about the additional buildings. I think the Media Lab perfectly fits in here. That might even look good without too much terraforming. Though I want to have you all the way down so this place looks nice. Yeah, even the parking spaces are fine. But then there you go. On the other side we are running into a couple of issues. Uh, let's just bring this and that down as well. Okay, good enough. We have a dance club ready to be placed down and I really would like to get this in here. Just with a pathway, let's add the dance club here. I'm gonna build a little pathway and make sure it is actually connecting. Though in my opinion that doesn't really look good, I need additional forks. There we go, that is much better. Okay, next building is uh, the bookstore, I believe. This is one we already have, let me quickly check. Huh, or maybe not. This is crazy we unlocked so many buildings. I guess what we could do is add the bookstore right here. Though, oh my gosh, this game is gonna kill me. Just gonna bring that up, bring that house up as well. Okay, and then here we'll have to do a lot of a trickery. But I don't want to bore you with the same stuff we did in the previous episode. I'm just gonna throw rocks on top of the problem. You know the gist. 
Okay, now we have the auditorium and we have the library. I think those are the next buildings. Uh, this is the... No, laboratory. Yeah, we have that too. Alright then, that means the only thing that's missing is an academic statue number two. Maybe I can get it in here, make things look a little less weird. I want to move this over and up a bit and then move the rope back. All right, that's what I'm talking about. All the buildings in Triggered Heights, the Liberal Arts College, are built. And I'm just gonna unpause a little bit, see if something goes wrong. Maybe there's another thing we can do now, and that is get rid of the last remaining power lines. I mean, we don't seem to need that one anymore. Is there anything else? I think we have that connection done as well. So we definitely don't need this anymore, and we don't seem to need this either. Okay, cool. Now let's try to take care of this medieval wall. I already searched for Medieval in the Find It mod and these are all the modules available to us. So that's gonna be quite interesting and uh, we will have to place a lot of walls. They actually do adapt in terms of height to the terrain as you can see here. So that's also something we'll have to keep in mind and also another thing you can do is use the fine road anarchy and I actually have that enabled I think with control A I can enable it and there we go we can also place walls on top of roads. Now I think what I want to get started with before we build a city wall or anything I want to get started with the actual castle in this area and I'm not sure that is a wise decision. Maybe we should have left a flatter space for this. Well, I'm gonna do my best. Alright then, we're going to get things started. First of all, I want to smooth out the terrain a bit more. Let me get that smoothing tool out. So all of this is just way too extreme and I'm hoping we can save a lot of it. I'm actually gonna need to expand a pathway. Maybe let's start with a gate. We have a tall gate and we have a short gate. And I think I want to start with the short gate right here. Oh man, this is gonna be such a pain in the butt, isn't it? Maybe let's get things started with the pathway and then above that we're gonna have the gate. So with the road anarchy I can place this here without destroying anything. So we're gonna start right here with the gate so people can also enter. And I'm actually gonna place buildings inside of it in order to make people do exactly that. And oh geez, we're gonna have to be really precise about this. But we're gonna continue with two walls. And I think I'm just gonna place them like so and then use the move it tool to do the adjustments. Next up, I would like to have a tower. Now this guy is D-shaped, so this is gonna allow us to continue. Oh, I think I'm gonna set this guy up in a 45 degrees angle. And we're gonna bring this over here gonna try to do the approximately same thing on the other side and then we want to keep going so we can even go with odd angles if we want to okay never mind i'm actually gonna go with the round towers that's gonna make it a lot easier for me the towers are accessed from this side there's actually even a little entrance here on the other side with the towers and look at that the walls actually adapt i just love that Okay, cool. Not a bad start. Let's keep going. I would like to see uh, walls. Yes, large walls. So my intention is not to make anything symmetrical. My intention is to make something cool looking. So we are just gonna try our best to achieve exactly that. For instance, right here we can have another tower, a square tower this time. And there's actually even another entrance through that. But looking at this, we might want to bring it down slightly. Okay, and we can do a lot with the rocks in the end as well. Okay, now we're gonna keep going. Uh, let me actually see, could this be a good place to lead a road into it? Because then I could use this type of gate. Uh, let me see, yeah, this looks about right. Okay, now let's place a road here, see if that actually works. Yeah, this absolutely works out. I just need to make sure that we have this at the right height. There's gonna be a lot of terraforming, guys. But more importantly, we somehow have to get out of here and join up with this road. I wanna make this a tad more realistic. I guess we have to now bring up this tower again. Intriguing. And what do we have here? The police. Of course. I'm not done yet. I never feel comfortable when they tag along to check out my creations. Anyways, another square tower here. We're then gonna continue with a little bit of wall and now we are going downwards and this slope is just way too steep. Hmm, let me think, how much space are we going to need to really make this look like a castle? Maybe let's try to continue on the other side first. First right here, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely working out much better so far. 
take a slight curve here and then can I go down? I can even take a curve without necessarily having to add a tower. But look at this, how it adapts to the nearby object. I just love this. Seems to be a really solid asset. We're gonna continue with another tower and then we slowly but gradually make our way back. So this is probably gonna be the size of our castle and it is actually not a bad location if you think about it. Though, to be fair, maybe we are just gonna keep going. You can uh, come up slightly. Uh, okay, it's getting increasingly more difficult to keep this under control. Just go up. I want a smooth slope if possible. And yeah, right here you can see this is just getting way too distorted. So we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna have another circular, no, actually a square tower here. Just wanna add that like so and move it down. Keep going here, cover up as much as possible of the ugliness. It is now time to keep going with the roads. And if we do this right, it is gonna contribute a lot to how everything looks. So we don't really wanna be too extreme or anything. Now, another thing I would like to see is a square tower right here in the center. Well, not exactly the center, but you get my basic gist. With another wall going towards the structure. Now, let's see if we can do this nicely. Uh, yeah, come on. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's approximately what I wanted to see. Now, the slope thing right here is gonna be a real issue. Let me get another round tower in the joint. Ah, uh, come on. Just do me the favor. Can I do that? What happens if I do that? Okay, that actually works. It's taking the underground grass with it. Okay, <laughs> beautiful. Okay, we actually managed to do it. Now the question is, can we get this in here and then hopefully adjust it? Not so convinced about this one. Everything else is kind of a stretch of realism, but this seems to be way too odd. Ah, check this out. Maybe I can fix it partially okay okay no not really i'm gonna get rid of that i'm gonna try to terraform a little bit move this up here slightly okay that's what i'm talking about this is a stretch of reality i can actually believe just have to fit this a bit better nice okay now what could we place in here let me actually go into the parks and then some touristy stuff riding stable actually a riding okay way too large but this wouldn't have been the worst Everything else seems to be boring or related to water. So we are gonna go into the normal parks, maybe even a plaza, no. These castle walls are much smaller than I first thought. Ah yes, and I remember we're gonna have to put something in there that fits on a pathway. So maybe we revert back to the liberal art stuff. There's for instance this academic statue that we could easily fit in here. Oh my gosh, what did you do? Uh, yeah, I mean, we knew this is going to be a real pain in the butt. Okay, I think I managed to adjust everything. And maybe if we're lucky, we can get the other one in here as well. Move that down. Uh, no, 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 not move it down. Move the pathway up. Yeah, I think the best course of action is to actually move all of these up and then use stones in order to hide whatever ugliness we are creating on the other side. Ah, there we go. Okay, we are getting there. Looks like if you take yourself enough time, it's possible. Yes, come on. I love when everything comes together. This is something we can fix. Let me now go into the rocks. I want to see if we can really hide this. I mean, this is on a much smaller scale than I first thought, so I'm not sure the rocks will be too large, maybe. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty large, but if I just move them up to the wall it is absolutely possible maybe take another model for some variety all right that actually looks pretty acceptable to me let me try to play some more rocks now with the anarchy mod it is actually possible to place everything anywhere so that is gonna come in very handy when it comes to rock placing in this district now i know some of the rocks still look very unrealistic uh, what if i brought these up a little bit yeah, we gotta be careful not to do too extreme things. Maybe we'll have to do some deco. Alrighty, I went ahead and finally enabled the Prop Anarchy mod as well, which allowed me, it's actually called Prop and Tree Anarchy, and it allowed me to place a bunch of trees right here. Obviously, I'm not yet done. This is looking way too unnatural right now, but you get the basic gist. I was able to hide the stretched out rocks much better. I also added a couple of rocks here in order to hide whatever the heck the wall did with the terrain. Now we still have this problem. 
But yeah, the more time I spend on this, the better it gets. However, right now I want to continue to get the rough idea of what I actually was going for. So imagine hundreds of years ago, this was not a university complex, but it was actually a village belonging to this castle structure. The castle obviously isn't there yet, or do I have access to a castle? Well, we could go with the ruins. Yeah, that might not be the worst of ideas. I oh mean, I'm really not sure what this is gonna do with the terrain. Yeah, oh my gosh. Game, why do you have to be so cruel to me? Okay, I can oversee the color difference. It's actually not too much of an issue. Let me try to add something here. And maybe another tower on the other side. Okay, and then we're just gonna use rocks to hide whatever the terrain did here. So there we go. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. How are the walls looking? Oh no, everything is stretched out and distorted. I'm so freaking grateful for the modability of this game. Otherwise, we can never do stuff like this. Some rocks here, maybe one here to hide the fact that this looks weird. We can make this appear a little more overgrown. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I can now barely notice the initial problems we had with this building. However, one huge problem is this wall. And I think I'm going to fix this by just cutting this out and adding something else in there. Let's see, castle wall ruins. This is actually draggable, okay. What about another one of these towers? Hmm. I think if we really want to do that, we should also set up more towers to indicate there was actually something, there was a lot of stuff with this material, but for some reason it didn't stand the test of time. Working out for me, we just have to bring this down, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then bring this up. Uh, does that do any... Oh, no, 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 not what I want. This is crazy. I'm just gonna get rid of this entire wall. I think that is the much better idea. And then I'm gonna wrap this up with some more trees. Okay, I can believe that. I mean, this wall also got teared down. We're now going to assume the wall continued across here. So let me just keep going for a while. And every now and then we want to add one of these towers, one of those. I think they're meant for the main wall. And if we did this correctly, certainly we can move this below the monorail, like so. And uh, yeah, looks like I have to bring it down at least somewhat. So we're just gonna make sure the monorail actually goes across it. And we can keep going on the other side. Yeah, there's still stuff I haven't taken care of in terms of details. But I can imagine this is a place I'm gonna fill up with rocks and trees as well. So maybe with a gate across this pathway and two pillars. Actually, people are really happy that I placed down this castle. I have to admit, it makes them suspiciously happy. So now we just want to miss this slope a little bit. And this is actually where I could... No, this doesn't fit. Yeah, the corners are just in the wrong direction. Mm, no, not working out for me. We're gonna set up another tower and looks like we are gonna have to do some move it trickery and set up rocks. Yeah, this is going too far and I need to bring this down so at least we can uh, connect the wall here in a reasonable manner. I mean also here, this is kind of crazy. I actually can terraform... Oh, I did not know that. Maybe that would have been useful, you know, to be actually able to terraform after the fact. So maybe for weirdness like this, I can just start terraforming. Yeah. All right, now we're talking. This area right here was actually a huge problem and we can now make it look better, much easier. Come on, come on, straighten out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take care of that some more another time. Let's keep going with the wall here. I want to finish this for today's episode. You go there and let me connect. Not quite. Beautiful. All right, now we would certainly continue into this direction. Maybe we can do this with a large wall and then we are gonna indicate that originally it probably continued. But, you know, times have changed. We don't really need castle walls anymore. And so this is where we end the wall even though it originally continued. But we're also gonna do the same thing into the other direction. And I kind of would like to encompass this Bit, then maybe go across this and go across that up to this park. This would be my ideal situation. In order to do that, we are gonna continue from here. Wall up like so. Gonna set up another gate here with the two pillars. Naturally, we might want to remove a couple of houses now. So I guess all the houses along here can go. Continue all the way to the next road. 
we also want to traverse here. However, it doesn't necessarily always have to be a gate. Maybe at some points the wall would have been torn down. So we're going to end it here with another round gatehouse. And then at some point we're going to continue it. Going to get another tower in the joint. Could we get a broken wall? What is this supposed to be? I don't quite understand the circular tower prop. I guess we can live without it. So maybe for now we're just going to do something like that. And then continue the wall right here. It's going to keep going, keep going. Maybe add another tower for shicks and giggles. Okay, yeah, that still makes sense. And now some more houses have to go. You, you and you. I would like to have another gate structure here and continue this. Uh, yeah, without a tower this time. There we go. Beautiful. And now that we've learned the secret, we should be able to fix this just by raising the terrain. Yes. Gonna add one more tower and keep going with the wall. Now, if we can continue in a reasonable manner here, I'm gonna do that. Wanna do just a tiny curve and then wrap everything up with another tower. That should actually be fine. All we have to do is fix some of that. Great! Okay, let's have a proper look at that. I think this is very, very fitting. All that's missing is the rest of the deco. It's gonna be a little bit busy after the deco. You can already see that kind of this is the look that I'm going for here. So it is certainly not done yet, but I wanted to have a little addition and actually someone gave me the link to this mod, which I found a really good idea. Right, I'm actually pretty happy with the results. There are still a lot of things I have to fix. For instance, the trees that are poking through, but this was more or less just a test if I could hide the stretched out rocks. Cool, I like it. Now to wrap up this video, there's one thing I almost forgot to do again, and that is we had a new park somewhere, I think at the Neptune University. The name suggestions, I'm gonna put them on the screen as usual, and the one I'm going for is Asteroid Belt, for multiple reasons, but I mostly like the backstory. Since we have all of these planet named districts, and we have a lot of rocks in the park, Asteroid Belt was a good suggestion. But I also really like the subscriber who suggested that, so thank you very much. Alright, cool. With that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.